Rise and Shine. You're on Rise and Shine with Matt and Rochelle, and we're catching up with the pastor chef today, Rochelle. Uh, this is this, breakfast has changed since I used to do it last year. You guys have gone up a whole other level. Yeah, of course we have. That's because we've got Mark Kiava here with us, who is a pastor and a chef. That's the best combination, in my opinion. And I'm really excited about some of these ingredients today, Mark, because I notice you've got Nutella here. And you know how I recently went to Europe, right? Yes, I've heard. Mm. You are back. Yeah. Did you go to Europe? Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear about that. <laughs> well, um, in France, we had amazing Nutella crepes yeah. off a, a street vendor. So what are we making today? Well, we're doing a range of things, you know, today that's really going to strike at the heart of every person in winter that wants to sit down, watch a movie, maybe cuddle up with your loved one, you know, or to feed the kids, you know, to say, look, get sugared up before bed, you know, nothing better <laughs> than that. So uh, we're doing today a hot drink. This drink actually can be done cold, crushed on ice as well in summer, but we're doing a cold drink. It's going to have a, a strong vanilla malt background, a light chocolate into that with also Nutella fingers that go wow. with it. So so for those that are your diet freaks, this probably is not for you, <laughs> but for, for those that just want to have a bit of a, you know, the five food groups, fat, fat, <laughs> sugar, sugar, fat, those kind of people that want to cover those five food groups, this is the, the dish for you. Now, mate, I thought you were a good pasta. <laughs> Uh, haven't you read that verse, lead us not into temptation, <laughs> deliver us from evil? Are yeah. you feeling convicted right now, brother? Yeah, but you know, I don't know. There's other scriptures that says exercise profits the body little. Oh, I, okay. I buffet my body daily, oh, okay. um, which is buffet. So here is a this buffet. Think, um, this one's a good one to kill those winter blues, yes. though, okay. isn't it? And, yeah. I'm, and I'm also excited because you've got more teasers here, yes. and that's my mm. husband's favourite chocolate. So I'm looking forward to seeing yes. what you're going to do with those. That's good. Well, before we get going, because it's a winter, thing and we got to what we're gonna do is a group hug okay. all right because it's winter hug get in the fight okay. there, the go. Oh. there we go good now i'm gonna get you over here okay I'm yes over here okay good so um what we're going to be doing is doing this drink so this is a drink you don't want to boil the drink all right all you want to do is just to warm it through and infuse the flavors mm-hmm. okay so it's a milk-based um one so i'm using this vita soy <laughs> Soy, oh, terrible. No, soy. This the reason why I'm using the soy is because soy has a slight almondy background, like a flavour to it. So when you have it, you go, oh, that's okay, and a nuttiness. So that's why I'm using it rather than normal. You can use your full cream if you like, but look seriously, use this is the soy light one, the milky Vita soy, soy light. So it's really good. I've got your Nestle malted milk, or you can use Horlicks if you like. Mm-hmm. All right. So if you I don't know. There's not, uh, there's not much difference between Horlicks and malted milk. Uh, so I don't think Horlicks makes you sleep better. That's what the things well, that... That is the claim. I've used yeah. it before. And on the back, it says, oh, great, before you go to bed. But yeah, what's, I, what's I, the I think it's more the warm milk because yeah. there's sugar in Horlicks. So I don't know how that's right. going to make you sleep better. Anyway, so we got that. I've got a little bit of just your normal chocolate topping or you might have ice magic or something like that. You know, flavours go through it. Then to get some extra essence and flavours behind it, I've got some cinnamon. So this gives you that nice. eggnoggy feel yeah. and nutmeg, which is really, really nice. And then some vanilla extract yes. that we got going with. That will be gently warmed up and infused over in like five or 10 minutes or something like that. Then to serve it up, we're gonna whack it into a nice cup. So you can use a glass cup or whatever that you like. Then we're gonna drop a couple of Malteser balls into the bottom of it so that when you get halfway through the drink and you swirl it, you get oh, the yeah. chocolate. Yeah, oh, yeah. Now we're talking. What was that about lead us not into temptation? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Bring, bring I it on, I reckon. <laughs> I, just, I just tempted you, buddy, straight that way. And then on top of that, we will have our Nutella fingers that will go. So just toasted so we're using a sourdough bread here so rather than just a normal white bread use a sourdough it's better for your digestive system so you can use a sourdough rye or anything it could be fresh with some butter on it and nutella on top of that and that will go with what is um sourdough actually made out of like what exactly is it okay it's a fermented yeast based dough that sounds tempting. <laughs> it's really, really good for you. No, what it is, because of the fermentation of the yeast and everything, it's lighter for your stomach okay. and easy for your stomach to digest. That's mm-hmm. how it is, rather than the processed stuff that you use like in normal white bread. Basically, and it's the density of a sourdough. So if you can grab raw of the bed, bread, bed, bread, and you can squash the white bread in your hand and it stays like a ball, well, that's what happens in your stomach. So it's virtually like a cork. You don't want that, okay? You, do, you What do you want to have is a bread light so when you squash it it 
goes back open again and it's fuller and it's got most of the time the sourdough rice into the rye, the un, unbleached flours, that's good for your digestive system and better. All right. Okay, so there's so, a healthy component yeah. to this, which is oh, good. There is, there is. There's no doubt there's health in this. There is for your health buffs, all right? So I'm just going to start warming this up. So uh, first of all, you know, in goes the, the soy milk. And we're just going to pull that in nice and chill. And we're going to put in a nice amount because I just know there's going to be plenty of people that are going to oh, have yeah. this. Bring it on. Yep. So, so, so this is a quantity for how many people are you making uh, this for? Three or four. Three or four. Three okay. Or four. So, you know, uh, what's this less? So, you know, a good, you probably want about 250 mils per person, you know, across the board there, a nice cup. So mm-hmm. so for three or four, you're looking at a litre or something like that, but it depends on how you go. So the soy milk's on that. It's getting warm. Then I'm going to put in three. Put Throwing in the my, spoon around malted, it. my malted milk. So the malt that you want to put in it, you can put in as much or as little as you like. Okay, so it all just depends on how malty you want the flavor of it. Okay, and how I like it. So when you're talking about Maltesers, they're full of malt. That's why, you know, and you let it sit in your mouth and you get that little malt ball at the end. I love the malt, so that's why I'm doing this. Also, the malt in it will thicken it up gently as well okay so we're just going to incorporate that through and you don't have to worry too much if you get lumps in it it's okay it's malt lumps it's nothing wrong with it okay now i notice it does actually say low in fat rich in calcium it, good yes. for the bones yeah, yeah. yeah it's good for the bones so we're, we're crossing all barriers there which is really good okay so in goes that then some cinnamon just a good, nice pinch of cinnamon. You don't want too much cinnamon flavour. But nutmeg, you can go more of nutmeg because mm-hmm. nutmeg's got that real nuttiness, yeah. which is really cool. So in goes the nutmeg, give you that thing, and then your vanilla essence. Yeah, put it all in. Yeah. Put it all in. Yeah. Here we go. So, so there we go. Now that's all we got to do. All we got to do now is just gently warm that up and infuse it and test your flavours back and forth. Mm-hmm. That's it. Then we'll drizzle a little bit. I don't want a lot of chocolate. Just a little bit of chocolate into that, you know, for the thing. But we might use a bit of that chocolate topping on the top. Because mm-hmm. when we put it in the cup, we're going to whack in your Malteser balls. Then we're going to put some nice whipped cream on top of that, drizzled with the chocolate topping. Mm-hmm. And then you got your toasted finger on the side. Nice. So that's it. So this, this could really be a good one if you've got the rallies coming to stay over winter, yeah. you know, the in-laws yeah. and you want to impress them with a nice wintry drink in the evening you know kind of butter them up with some sweetness and, and some goodness <laughs> it, there too though exactly it's across the board and that it's still like a different version of eggnog so and this is where as well for those that are your, your coffee lovers and your coffee connoisseurs you get all your coffee you know those essent liqueurs that come with it mm-hmm. all right so you can put liqueur in this if you like also the flavors like your hazelnut and all this type of drizzle you know you go to i want a caramelized latte that you can at a coffee shop you can get the caramel flavorings with so you can add some of that to it or drizzle that on top as well and go for it and like i said all you do is you warm this up then you can cool it down and you can serve it on crushed ice you can make milkshakes with it all that kind of stuff with extra cream on it and away you go so so when you're doing this obviously this goes hand in hand with a nice cold day maybe a bit of drizzle Mm -hmm. you know it's night time and a favorite movie so what's your guys favorite movie do you guys have a a classic favorite movie of all time over to you Rochelle (laughs) well funnily enough I was just thinking what have I seen this winter and the first thing that came to mind was Jurassic Park now that's (laughs) that's a classic but you might uh, spill your hot drink if you have that one it is a little scary so I don't know maybe something else Uh, Inside Out is the kids movie that's hot Mm -hmm. right now so perhaps that bit of fun or you could you know get the romantic movie Matt I know you like those my wife loves a good rom-com. Um, I'm, I probably enjoy a bit more action movies. Uh, we watched um, Courageous uh, again the other day with the kids, that good Christian movie, and my kids really enjoyed it. They loved it too. Uh, that's a good one. And uh, I guess uh, you can't go past Lord of the Rings, the, the big ones. The, I love all those ones, The Hobbit, all those kind of ones. What about you, mate? Yeah, yeah. well, look, my wife and I, we, we have some classics. So we like the Godfather series. Um, and that's just... Uh, always classic Godfather series. Um, but then for my one of my all-time favorite movies is the breakfast club oh yeah uh the red it's an 80s movie you know it's got some great uh, actors now that are getting old you know in it but it's a movie about you know kids that are locked up at school because they're on detention but each one of them uh sort of symbolizes a different kind of click group that you have at school the wrestler you know all the all the fitness pro then mm-hmm. you've got the the nerd then you've got the big tough guy who gets you know burnt by his dad at night time with cigar things you know? and they end up through the movie becoming all close friends in the prom queens in there and they have to write an essay about why they're here and why they shouldn't 
should not be here and so on like that. So mm-hmm. it's actually a very good movie. It's a it's still one that speaks to today for society for kids and so on like that. So anyway, that's one of my favorites. Well, it sounds uh, pretty interesting yeah. that you're a chef and your favorite movie is called The Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, uh, nice. you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? <laughs> I didn't wow. even see that. While this is uh, yeah. heating up, yeah. we'll go to a break and yeah. we'll come back in a moment and we'll see uh, the results of this yummy hazelnut malted milk drink we're making. <laughs> you're with the pasta chef on Rise and Shine. Welcome back to Rise and Shine with Matt and Rochelle, and we're joined by the pasta chef today. Can you smell it, Rochelle? How, how does it smell to you? Oh, it's uh, malty in the air, it's Mark. Malty. How's how's our, our mixture brewing? It's good. It's looking good. Malt is in the air every time. Anyway, every time. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, we're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to play uh, to cup it up, not plate it up, cup it up. So, Rochelle, you want to pop the fingers down? There we go. So you're going to put the toaster on. So they're ready to go, and you're going to be doing the the nice bit of soft butter on it. And don't be shy with your Nutella, okay, on those six, okay? First, then Nutella. Yep, yep, and smear that on top. So what you're saying is like that Bible verse, man should not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God and And Nutella. Nutella. And Nutella, you're all over it, exactly how it is. All right, so now that's ready, as you can see, all you've got is just a light, see this... um, uh, cloud of of moisture coming out from it, you know what I mean? So we have them boil it. So that's only gone to about 80 degrees, all right? So once you get to about 90 degrees, you start to get that simmering. You don't want to go that far, all right? Because otherwise you can split the milk. And I've used the soy milk because it's better for your digestive system as well. And I don't want to heat that up too much, all right? So it's ready to go. So here we go. We're going to plate it up. So first of all, I just get a nice ladle. Ladle, ladle. Ooh. Well, well, there we go. All right. So we put some of that in there. Goes in there. Oh, I, I can just see it now. Yeah. I can smell it now. And we're ladling it up. It looks quite thick. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's the the malt there. That's happening. Don't burn that toaster no, there, Rochelle. We, we okay? The it's on two there. over there, so it shouldn't burn. Yeah. So we're just nice two ladles in each one. You know, you can do more if you like. Obviously, you can drink it straight out of the pot if you like. Chefs just make it look good when they ladle, don't they? Okay. Like for me, I'd be yeah. like I'm spilling it everywhere. everywhere. So, yeah, yeah. Then our classic favourite oh, Maltesers. Yes. I noticed on the radio you're talking about Allen's yesterday, yeah. but look today we're talking about Maltesers okay. today. Okay. Nice. Now I'm still waiting. So if, if anyone from the Malteser company is listening, I want Malteser ice cream. I would love balls of ice cream. Like yeah. you brought out every other snack bar as an ice cream. <laughs> Where are the Maltesers? That's what I say. I think they listen every day. The Maltesers guys. So. So the whole idea is you drop two or three at the into it and they will slowly just melt their way into it you don't want you don't want it too much all right we don't want too much chocolate into that mm-hmm. that's fantastic we're gonna get the cream okay yep. no that should almost be right we don't want it too much right. toasted oh, look, and, and i just saw matt i just saw matt sneaking thing then oh, i've just, got i just thought i needed one more at least <laughs> <laughs> then i got some whipped cream which goes oh, on the top of each one now we're talking I hope my wife isn't watching this. She'll be expecting this every night now throughout winter. So this now will give you that slow eggnoggy feel with that. A little bit of nutmeg. All right, and I'm buttering the toast. Yep, buttering the toast. Beautiful. A little swirl of your chalky topping onto that. Oh, Just a dollop. That. Wow. Okay. You're going to have to zoom in on this one. This looks amazing. That's good. From and then, then the Nutella piece that comes on the top over that. So all we're going to do now is grab one of these. With Nutella. A bit of Nutella. And I can show the people and then I can get on my devotion while you do the rest. Okay. You do the I won't tell any crummy jokes about the bread. Uh, it's a bit, I'm a bit crusty right, early in the morning. so. so sorry, I'm that's right. There. You could but spread it if I told another. All these oh. on Come on, Rochelle. <laughs> Come on, Rochelle. <laughs> Pressure's on. Come on, chef. This is Hurry so up, exciting. <laughs> I'm pumped this like is better than... <laughs> pumped up like a footy. Sorry. This, anyway, is, this is better than MasterChef. Is that too thick? No, perfect. All right. And then what you do is you put your finger on top. And Matt, Look you get that. a chance first, okay. all right? So you have a drink, have a, a swirl, drink first, yeah. or whatever. And I'll get onto my devotion. Is that okay, okay guys? That'll be good. Right. All right, so while, you, while you're enjoying that, the festivities there of that, what we're talking about uh, today is out of 2 Corinthians 5.17. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. All things have become new. So later on, you can pray that over your life. <laughs> what I like about the scripture says, like, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, and that speaks about someone who's in a relationship with Christ, you know, uh, Christ is more than just your rescuer. He's your savior, you know. Yeah. So, so when you are in Christ, uh, this relationship occurs. How many of you all know that when you first got saved, um, you know, you may have been transferred from a life that's rebellious against God into a life that loves God. Mm-hmm. But how many of you all know all your habits are still with you? 
and you have to work that on. Mm-hmm. So when you are in Christ, that process is not only for salvation, but it's an ongoing relationship. So if you have a daily relationship with God, this scripture is appropriate for you because if you are in Christ, you are a new creation. You know, and that's that metamorphic change, caterpillar going into a cocoon, becoming like a butterfly. And it's similar. It's very similar to us. Like in our sinful ways, we just sort of crawl through life. Mm. And then we have this metamorphic change and come out and can fly. It's good. And we yeah. come something completely different. But that's when you are in Christ. So therefore, your life journey every day can be a metamorphic change, getting better and better. And the thing that I like is old things have passed away. I'm so grateful in my life that my past has been forgiven mm. and God has forgotten it Amen. and I've moved on, you know. And now all things become new and that new is a, an ex, you're exploring every day a newness of you that you've never experienced before. And I don't know about you, but the person I am now, 20 years now since I've been saved, is completely different. And I never knew I could be the person that I am, but God always saw that in me, you know. And uh, the funny thing is, you know, I, I'm saved and I've come from a drug history and a drug life, cocaine, the toilet seats, the whole works of stuff. But now, you know, 20 years on, 23 years on, I've got a beautiful wife. I've got two lovely kids. Um, and in God's humor, I'm pastoring a church. I would have never thought that the newness of my life could be it is now. And it's so much better than what it was before. So if for those that are listening or you're, you're looking and stuff like that on, on, online, you may not, not God, no, not, may not know God, but he knows you. And all you need to do is receive him into your heart. And this newness journey can be for you like what we experience here today. Amen. So anyway, enjoy your time. Enjoy your hot cocoa when you're you know, cuddling up between one another. And just enjoy loving God. Well, mate, thank you. I'll give you a cuddle up. Too. Oh, That's a good word, you. mate. I appreciate this what's, this morning. What's the verdict, Matt, on, on everything? What oh, you? yeah, this is 10 out of 10 for me. Brilliant. Mm. Absolutely well, fantastic. I've got to say, the malt was uh, really lovely and refreshing, especially with a yeah. little dollop of cream. Yeah. And, I mean, you can't go wrong with these sourdough uh, Nutella fingers. They're, they're great. Yeah. So thank yeah. you, Mark. No, it's a pleasure being here with you guys. Thank you so much, Pastor Chef. And uh, God bless you, mate. You're a legend. Thank and you. if people want to watch this clip and they're, and they're listening on the radio, uh, it'll be on our YouTube channel. Uh, just search for Vision Radio or used to be Australia you can find it on YouTube thanks for joining us on Rise and Shine Rise and Shine weekday mornings on Vision